What's going on and welcome back to another less than five minute gear review and in this video we're going to be going over the Eagle Industries 300 round linked 762 ammo bag. Now since Eagle Industries doesn't really make this anymore it can be a little bit difficult to find but there are three places that you can find it and that's going to be Venture Surplus, eBay, or Tax Swap. Tax Swap is definitely kind of your by chance somebody has one and they're trying to offload it. eBay is a little bit more reliable because you have couple of surplus stores and all that always getting stuff in and trying to get rid of stuff so you'd probably be able to find that there and then last but not least you have venture surplus now venture surplus is probably going to be the most reliable because they're constantly buying old military surplus equipment and they get them both used and new so that price is going to really vary depending on kind of all three of those uh, stores as well as if it's used or new so roughly around 40 bucks all the way to 120 dollars really just depends. I was fortunate enough to find one by chance on TaxSwap for about 60 bucks, so it worked out really well for me. But definitely check out Venture Surplus first to start there and then start going through everybody else uh, to see about availability and the event that stuff sold out. Uh, with that, I'm gonna dive right into this so that way you can see what's going on, how it's set up, how you can throw ammo inside of this so that way you can run it both left hand and right hand fed depending on what the weapon system is. So with that, diving right in, you got two clips on the front of this that are going to be your top flap as well as two buckles that can come down on the sides and buckle down uh, on the sides right there and then they'll velcro into place for whatever uh, left hand right hand feeding you determine to go with depending on the gun so with that uh, you also have a handle up top here so you can carry that around and then you also have these two d-rings on the backhand side uh, so if you want to add that uh, shoulder strap that's going to come with this or take it off, this is where it's going to connect to. So opening this up though, you can see you have two compartments in the divider that splits them up. Your left hand side is going to be the side that you're going to load first, get all those rounds all the way down to the bottom. And then you're going to come over and load everything on the right hand side and then come up to the top and then just S fold from there. So one thing with this, Take the time, make sure the rounds are seated in there properly because one, since the, the bag is pretty narrow and you do have this divider, it is going to keep those rounds in place and prevent them from kind of trying to move around and twist, which could lead to a uh, weapons malfunction or just failure to feed. So I would definitely take the time, make sure you're loading this correctly so that way it does what it needs to do when uh, you're engaging targets downrange. So. Uh, with that, when it comes to rounds, it will load and can hold both your disintegrating linked and your non-disintegrating linked. So your uh, like 762 links, that's going to be your disintegrating belts. And then your RPD is going to be something more that's a non-disintegrating belt. It'll run both, no issues there. Whether it's 762 by 51 or 762 by 39, both successfully work with this whole entire system. So uh, the nice thing with this bag... Um, as well as the other bags that I've talked about, and I haven't really touched on it uh, on the other bags, but you can run these and feed ammo both on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side. So depending on whether or not you have a really old system, say like the Stoner 63, back from like Vietnam era, or you're running some of the newer systems like the 240, 249 RPD. RPD is a little bit older though. Um, you can run both left hand and right hand fed. The cool thing with the 240 being capable of running or being able to be fed from both the left and the right hand side, uh, you can use this for, for either one of those. So let's say if, if you have the money and you want to set up two 240s or whatever and feed them from both sides, you have the capability to do that. So, um, so this is nice for that because then you can have 600 rounds between the two guns and so forth. So uh, just kind of an imagination running wild piece there but um, when it comes down to it this thing is a really good bag for ammo it is really nice to have the divider because it keeps everything straight and flat and you don't have to worry about those rounds twisting inducing any type of failure to feed so uh, this is one of the things that does make this bag really nice compared to the tactical tailor as well as the uh, 21st tactical all those those bags are really really nice and they do the job this divider definitely kind of gives it a uh, hand up however you can lose the molly that one of the other bags does have so 
Um, but the cool thing with Tac Taylor is if you want to add Molly to any of their stuff, you give them a call and they'll put something custom together for you. They're currently doing that for me for some M4 pouches, so or M4 and some machine kind of front magazine pouches uh, with Velcro, so that way I can run elastic systems, so I can run more than just uh, M4 mags. I can run M4 and some machine gun. Food for thought if you want to do something a little bit custom and custom set up a bag for your machine guns so that's one of the nice things with uh with tack taylor and 21st tactical is they have a custom shop as well anyways getting back to this pretty simple and straightforward when it comes down to it really not a whole lot else so uh, i highly recommend it when it comes down to uh all three of these bags this one since it's being or has been discontinued can be very difficult to find but they are still available so if you have the opportunity to pick one of these up i would absolutely go for it and uh, and purchase that for any 7.62 platform that you're running, whether it's a 51 or a 39 millimeter. So with that, if you have any questions, please feel free, leave a comment. We'll help you out in any way that we can in answering those questions. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.